Hey guys, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a portfolio website where you can show off something that you've created. So let's say for example, you are somebody who provides a service like pressure washing. Maybe you'd like to show off some before and after photos or some photos that reflect the quality of your work. This video is going to show you how to do just that. Create a portfolio of photos using a website. Before I get started, I do want to invite you to tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on web design, internet marketing, search engine optimization, and similar topics. As you can see, I'm starting from webstarts.com. I'm going to click on get started. It's free. And in the next step, I'm going to select a template. You can select any template you would like. You can always add a photo gallery to any of these templates, but for this demonstration, I'm going to be selecting this one called autobiography. In the next step, you're going to enter your name, email address, and select a password that you're going to use in order to log in to your Web Starts account. Once you've entered your name, email address, and selected a password, you'll come to this page where you'll choose a website address for your website. Now you can select from either a free.webstarts.com web address, or you can enter in your very own domain name. Do note that if you select the option to enter your own domain name, you'll first have to upgrade your Web Starts account to one of the paid plans. For this demo, I'm just going to move along with the free.webstarts.com address and I'm actually going to select my address later so I'm going to click choose later just to skip this step and move on. With your web address selected you'll move on to what's called the dashboard view and the first time that you see the dashboard view you'll be welcomed by this video that walks you through everything you need to know to get started building your very own custom website using web starts i do recommend you watch this video of course i've already seen it so i'm just going to close out that modal and then this is going to display the dashboard in the dashboard you'll find all of your websites up here in the top left along with your account information in the top right and then in the center of your screen you'll see a thumbnail to your website when you hover over that you'll see an edit site button and we're going to click on that to begin making edits and changes to our website in just a moment but before i do that i want to call your attention to the web address that I selected. One was assigned to me by default because if you remember during sign up, I selected the option to choose a domain name later. And if I want to do that, I can click here to edit that subdomain or domain name, depending on which one I'd like to use. Below that, you'll find what we call the app panels. These are various panels that add interactivity to your website. For example, you can sell products using an online store, write blog posts, send follow-up emails to leads that you've captured on your website. You can add live chat to your website and a whole lot more. I suggest you check that out. But to get started working on this portfolio website, let's go ahead and click on the edit site button. And that loads what we call the page editor. The page editor is where you can begin to make changes to the pages of your website. And the first time you log in, I suggest you go through this quick tour that shows you the, your way around the editor and what all of these various functions do. It's going to complete that. And up here in the top left is where you'll be able to select the pages of your website you'd like to edit. So for example, I'm on the home page. So if I start changing some of these design elements, those changes will be reflected on my home page. But if I wanted to edit the about page, I would select it from the drop down menu and then I could make my edits and changes to the about page there. For this portfolio website, I'm just going to go back and make edits to my home page. So I'm going to select that option. By the way, if you'd like to create a new page, you can select this option from the drop down menu as well. And the first thing I'm going to do is edit this text box that's the title to my website. And I'm going to change it from autobiography to my portfolio. And of course, you can 
name that whatever you want. You can upload your own logo and place it there. Everything is drag and drop in the Web Starts page editor, so if you want to add an element to your page, all you need to do is just drag it from the side here to wherever you want it to appear. Or you just click on it and you can upload things like your own images or select an image from the image library or text or whatever the design element is that you want to add. And you can see there that I just used the trash icon to delete that from my page. But since we're working on a portfolio website, let's focus on what we call the photo gallery. That's this design element here. It's already preloaded with some photos that came with this template, but I want to edit the content. So I've selected the gallery and now I'm going to click on the edit icon. And from there, I can hover over each one of these photos and I can actually just delete them from my photo gallery. I can then either upload my own images from my local computer, or let's say, for example, I don't have any images, I can use them from image search. So I'm just going to select some artwork here from the uh, default image library. And then once you click on those images, it will fetch those and then they will be placed into your photo gallery where I'll be able to arrange those. Now that I've selected a collection of images, they're displayed in my photo gallery and then I can do things like add a title and description to each one of those. I can take a closer look by clicking on the view option or I can delete it from my photo gallery as well. If I would like to change the order, all I need to do is drag each one of these photos and I can change the order in which they're displayed in my photo gallery. When you're ready to display that order, just click update. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to delete one because I have an odd number of photos for the photo gallery. And then in just a few moments, all of those will load up into my photo gallery where I'll be able to display a portfolio of my works. As you can see, there are six images in this particular gallery and there's room for eight. So let's say, for example, I wanted to change the format of this gallery. I would just select it then click on settings and then I would change the number of columns. Currently, I have four. I'm going to reduce it to three just to fill up the space that I have on my page. I can resize the photo gallery using the standard handles or I can push everything down my page using the smart handles just like so. And of course I can drag and drop this gallery wherever I'd like it to appear. I want it to be aligned perfectly in the center so I select the center option which it's already applied to. Some of the other things that you probably want to include on a portfolio website would include your contact information. Here you can see that I've added a button to the home page that says contact us. If you'd like that to link to your contact page, click on the settings option, then the link to option, and then select your contact page from the drop down and click create link. Once you're done, if you save those changes, you can see how that works by clicking view site scrolling down to the contact us button and then see how it takes you to the contact page. Of course, you can customize the contact page to reflect your own contact information as well. Other things that you might want to include on your page might be some of the features and benefits of the things you create or the services you provide. You can list those here in this template. Uh, I typically recommend using one word as the title and then filling in this section that says this is a paragraph with a short paragraph about each benefit to the name of each feature. So these titles would be the feature name and this description would be the feature benefit. You can select various icons to reflect each one of the features of your products or services. To change the icon, select it, click on edit, and then you can select an icon from the icon library. Of course, you don't need to use icons. You can also substitute these with images or you can just remove these all together. But visual uh, icons, sometimes I find those helpful because people tend to just scan the page when they come to your website so that can draw their attention to some of the features and benefits of the works or services that you've created. Down here at the bottom I have a social bar that I've added to the footer. You can click on edit, 
to change the different social network icons that you include on your portfolio website. And then of course you can update each one of the URLs so they link to the various social media profiles that you've created demonstrating your work uh, throughout the web. So for example, here you can enter your Instagram account URL and that will take people on to whatever you've posted on Instagram. Uh, you can rearrange these so if Instagram is more important than your Facebook then you can just drag that or if you don't want to include Facebook at all you can delete that and then just click update and then the social bar will be updated. You can add a social bar to anywhere on your page of course all you have to do is click add and then just like everything else just drag the social bar where you'd like it to appear and you can have multiple of them on a single page one quick note anything you drag into the header section which is this section above this green line or the footer section which is the section below this dotted line is going to be displayed on each page of your website that's just a feature of web starts that helps create continuity to your website so people will always find the navigation menu and your business name and your logo and those sort of things in the same place on each page of your website. If you're creating a portfolio website, you might also want to update the about page. That's a good place to add a little bit of information about yourself. It's common for people to add photos of team members or to include a couple of paragraphs about what inspired them to get started in a certain business or organization. Feel free to update that. Of course, you can edit any text box by selecting the text box and clicking the edit option and then selecting the text and beginning to type. Well, that just about covers it for creating your very own portfolio website using Web Starts. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, don't forget to tap the subscribe button and also ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video and go to webstarts.com to create your very own free website, online store, or blog.